speakeasies open. I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't nope, shut it's up. It's not time to shut up. We're just recording now. <laughs> We're yeah, it's time to get going. I feel like this needs ice. Oh, did you shake it with ice? Yeah, yes. but it's been sitting here now. But I so. did a, a while ago. <laughs> that's okay. okay. I'm not above drinking a, a drink that's not ice cold. <laughs> I'm not fancy like that. We are not fancy. Yep. We are not fancy like the people that I'm watching on Ooh, Drink yes. Masters drink right Masters. now. Oh, you're going to tell us about that. It is a series on Netflix that I um, stumbled across. I've run through it beginning to end, so I don't know how much I, I should say. No, I'm only halfway through, so don't it's, tell me who won. <laughs> oh, no, I won't say anything. But they, um, they have some bartenders from around North America, and it appeared to be filmed in Montreal. Mm -hmm. And these people do all this crazy shit to make their cocktails. And I'm learning all these cool terms about ways that they treat ingredients. And it totally, it can match into like, because they do a lot of cooking and creating like syrups and sauces and like changing flavors on things um, for their drinks, but they use all of natural ingredients. So it's so cool. It is really cool. But they get like a whole hour to an hour and a half to make yep. these drinks and it's like, what are, what, what, are, what am I missing here? But it, it is true, true. Like they're really chefs, but the yeah. drink chefs. Mm -hmm. and I can't wait to see from, from now on what Erin's going to be making us every Friday yeah. when it's her turn because she's oh, like, I am in no way going watch to watch the show. Uh, learn a lot doing, of things. She's going to fat render. What's it called? Fat, fat wash. Washing. Fat washing. Could do some fat washing here. Maybe yes. I'll create some pearls for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Me the and science. gelatin. The sciencey <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So I kind of did a little bit of a kitcheny inspired cocktail where mm -hmm. I had to kind of do some stuff before I made the cocktail. So this cocktail that you're drinking is called a plum gin fizz. Mm. So you take sugar and plums, um, you, ro you put them out on a sheet pan and you roast them in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes until it becomes soft and juicy. Mm. So I had some plums that I froze in the freezer from the summer and we use them to make the German plum cake. Mm -hmm. And because I had some extra, I was like, well, what do I do with these? Other than make more German plum cake because I've actually already made two. Which is totally <laughs> acceptable. Is totally acceptable, but you know, it's, it's getting to be an issue. And so I thought, <laughs> let's make something else with these plums. Plums are good for you. So after you do this, you just um, put them into a food, food processor and then put through a fine mesh sieve and then refrigerate it until you need it. So I did this a couple of days ago. And then to make the cocktail, I used a mason, mason jar because I'm making do without proper bartending tools. That's exactly how right. we serve all our drinks. <laughs> That's how we do. Jar, mason so. jars are the uh, go-to drink maker. <laughs> mm -hmm. So in a large mason jar, <laughs> I combined uh, two ounces of gym, Two ounces gym. of gym. gin. Who's gin? How much gin has she had already? <laughs> <laughs> Two ounces of gin, uh, one egg white, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and three and a half tablespoons of the plum puree. And then put the cap on, shake this vigorously for about 15 seconds, and then add in your ice, shake it again to get it nice and cooled down, and then strain it off into your glass and top up with club soda. And be careful, because it bubbles over. <laughs> it really yeah. frothes, froths up yeah. Yeah, the does. egg white. It is so cool. And I saw this fizz, and they were showing oh. it like, mm. the, it had like a foam on top, and it was mm. really cool. And I, I mean, clearly they broke it down and did much more elaborate things. But I thought, hey, I'm going to try this out. So, ladies, plum gin fizz. Mm. So delicious. So Are you I liking it? Totally didn't mm. think it was. Okay, so I was trying to figure it out. I was trying to guess what this was. And I started with tamarind first. Oh, interesting. I thought there was tamarind in this. And then I went, is it sumac? And now I understand why I think I thought it was sumac. Because oh. in Asia, we have a preserved dry fruit that we eat. And it's, I bet you that they're actually plums, the preserved plums. 
So that's what I was just like. I was so thrown off, which tastes a lot oh, like smack. Interesting. Oh. So good. So yummy.、Mm. I didn't know. I was like, "What is like it, the color?" Threw me off because I、okay. couldn't pinpoint the fruit. I knew it was like a fruit, but I was like, "What? What fruit is this color?"、Mm -hmm. Tastes like sumac. Smells like tamarind.、Mm. This is pretty color, though. This is like a. It's a very like wine almost. Yeah. Yeah. Of, tastes. It looks、uh, like juice. It, it looks beautiful and it tastes yummy. Really yummy. Mm hmm. No, I、yeah. didn't taste plums, but I get it、yeah. now. I get it now. Yeah. It was kind of fun to do something in the kitchen to make an ingredient to put in your drink. I've done that a、really? couple times now. I don't know. I I kind of have fun with that. <laughs> This is a great holiday drink, I think.、Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I've seen drinks where they use like apple butter, much the same、mm -hmm. way, where you shake it up and then strain it in. Maybe I'll make one of those one day because our friend, our mutual friend,、um, Aaron, the other Aaron, gave me some apple butter she made. So maybe I'll、oh. make a drink with that. Nice. Yeah, similar process, but it wouldn't look as pretty as this color because apple butter is like brown,、mm, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah, I think if these would have been fresh、mm. plums or red plums, I think the color would have been even prettier. Oh, I see. I mean,、okay. these plums were frozen in the freezer, so I'm sure that that affected the color that comes out in them. But it might be、Not、just quite tastier because of it. Well, yeah, it could be too.、Right? I don't know. Or maybe、so. when you roast it,、mm. like when you put them in the oven, it changes the color no matter how they start out.、Mm -hmm. That's、mm -hmm. a good point too. Yeah, I don't know. I never would have guessed that you put something in the oven and then pure. Like it's very sneaky. I like it. <laughs> I like that it's sneaky. <laughs> and it was perfect because the plums. Sometimes when you make a sauce and then it makes too much, and then you're like, "Oh, I don't know what to do with all these leftovers." The recipe for plum sauce was exactly what was needed for our three drinks. So,、mm. and it's not a strong drink alcohol-wise. Like it doesn't have a strong taste of gin. To How、me. much gin was? Two ounces of gin. Oh, two ounces! Wow, I must be really professional now. <laughs> I taste nothing. <laughs> I'm getting so strong. So proud of myself, <laughs> but I think it's a real balanced drink where you don't get、yeah. too much of the fruit or too much of the alcohol. You just made my day saying that. I made a really nicely balanced drink. I'm gonna go with that. No, that's just... really it was really good. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you did. <laughs> that's、really、gonna、good. be my compliment of the day. <laughs> yeah, just stick to that. I like this experimenting with stuff, and I'm glad you're willing to go along for the ride because I felt bad about the mishap that I had with the one、uh, coconutty one. And oh, the mint! It was only the mint. Ugh, I was so frustrated by that. But、oh, you just had to commit <laughs> to the drink, and then the mint became less minty. I think we spoke about that. She's a professional. She can commit <laughs> and power <Mom> through. <laughs> I couldn't quite. It's a business to that transaction. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink you if you just give、She、me just, that buzz. Okay. I am the professional. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> But this one, you've redeemed yourself. Ah,、oh, very good. Very, good. <laughs> very、um, yummy. Just very surprising. Very、mm. surprising drink. Very delicious. I think a lot of people from. Many places around the world could totally recognize this flavor, but then not maybe identify it. So that's the surprising part. But they'll still appreciate it because they've had this flavor before. So great, yeah, really good.、Mm -hmm. Fun, yay! <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on Three Kitchens Podcast dot com. Shall we wrap this up, Erin? In this challenge, you are safe. <laughs>